I know, I know it's still summer, but today we're going to be talking all about autumn inspired crochet projects. I have so many to share with you today and they are amazing, every single one of them. Before we get started, let me know what is your favorite thing to crochet during autumn. Hi, I'm Elise from lepetitsaintcrochet.com and you're going to find links for every single one of the patterns in the description box below. The first project is the Leafy Autumn Hat by Wilma Westenberg. This is a free pattern and you'll also find a video tutorial for this entire hat, which I think is really nice. What I love about this hat is that that autumn leaf is the shining star and she uses an extreme drop stitch to make that little leaf motif on the hat. Here in North Carolina, we have the most spectacular autumn season and the leaves become extraordinary. It really is my favorite time of the year. And so when I saw this hat, I thought, oh, this is gorgeous. The next pattern is a free one and I've shared him before here on the channel, but this is my own Amigurumi pencil pattern, Mr. Pencil. It's perfect for all of the kids going back to school and he's a very simple little toy to make. And I also have a video tutorial for how to make him, but I think he's really cute. He has such a sweet little smile. And this is a great project if you're practicing your amigurumi skills, or maybe you've got kids going back to school, or maybe you're a grandma and your grandkids are going back to school, or maybe you're a teacher. These are just really fun to make, and I think he's adorable. The next project is the Country Cottage Headband by Turtle Trunk. This one is so beautiful. I love a headband on those cool, crisp autumn mornings when it's a little bit chilly out there. And this one you can make in eight different sizes. It's a free pattern and you'll also get a video tutorial. Another thing that's really great about this pattern is that it calls for a medium four weight yarn and many of us have that in our own yarn stashes. I love finding great patterns that are also good stash busters so that I can work down some of my uh, yarn supply here. She shares what yarn she used but she also offers recommendations for other yarns that you might already have too. This is the first time that I've been to the Turtle Trunk website before and I'm really impressed so I highly recommend you checking her out. She has a lot of beautiful patterns. The next pattern is also from Allie from The Turtle Trunk. I'm going on a deep dive on her website and her YouTube channel. She has so many great tutorials. And another one that I love for this fall are the Boo Pumpkins. These are so adorable. It comes with a video tutorial and the free pattern. And I think that these would be so cute out about in your house around Halloween time. And they're super simple to make. Keeping with the pumpkin theme, I found this fall crochet centerpiece by Winding Road Crochet. I love this one. I always have a centerpiece during the fall and I love to have my pumpkins out and this would be perfect if you have your dining room table or a kitchen table or maybe on a coffee table or a little credenza or somewhere in your home where you just want to have a little bit of that holiday decoration but you can use up some of your own yarn and I think this one looks great. You could also change the colors because fall is not just about the oranges and the browns and the yellows anymore. You could do it in neutrals but I've also seen bright colors. Any colors that you love you could make these pumpkins in. I also love that in between each one of the different size pumpkins she added some faux berries, some faux leaves, and I think that takes this to a whole new level. The next pattern is the double-sided crochet trick or treat pillow by Tiny Couch Crochet. That's a mouthful. Try to say that all at one time. That, that was hard to say. What I love about this pillow is that it's double-sided, which is in the name. I really love that, and you can flip it around. You can have trick or you can have treat. What I really like about this pillow is that she used a tweed yarn. It looks so great and it gives it that little bit of a rustic feel to it. And she's also using bobble stitches to make the letters. I think that that looks so fantastic. And for this pattern, she's using a really budget-friendly yarn. This is Red Heart Super Saver. And I love projects where you know you're not going to have to make a huge investment because this is a pillow that you're not gonna have out all year long. And I forgot to mention that it's a free pattern. The next pattern is the Hello Fall Crochet Pillow by Brianna K Designs. This is a big pillow and I'm all about it. I love everything about it. I love how it looks. I love the size. She used impeccable yarn from Michaels and I've used this yarn before for a crochet blanket and it is a fantastic yarn to work with and it's easily accessible if you live near where I live and maybe you do and maybe you don't. 
It's 100% acrylic. It's an Aran tweed, which you don't have to use a tweed yarn, but an Aran weight is likely going to work best for this pillow, especially if you want it to have that nice big size. Another great thing is that it's a free pattern and she gives you the option to make a crocheted back or to use burlap for the back of the pillow. Another thing that I love about this, and it really doesn't have anything to do with the pillow, but is this little photo that she took with her kid's hamster among all of her little supplies and I thought it was so cute. It's so adorable and it just made me happy so I had to share it with you guys. If you've never been to Brianna's website, make sure to check it out. She has so many lovely free crochet patterns available and they're really unique designs. I love everything that she does. You are going to love this next pattern. It's the Crochet Autumn Wreath by Kate Eastwood. This is everything that an autumn wreath should be. You've got toadstools, you've got flowers, you've got leaves, and it's all put together in the most magical way. I want to make this right now. It's so whimsical, it's so adorable, and I love that you can make it in so many different colors and shades, anything that matches your decor, anything that you just love, and it's just so adorable. She's using Rico Rumi DK, which is 100% cotton yarn, and I think that cotton would look really good with this wreath because you'd be able to see all of those details so well because stitch definition with cotton yarn is so nice. Now this isn't a free pattern, but it is available for purchase on Ravelry. The next autumn inspired pattern is the acorn and leaf garland and mini pumpkins from Joann's. This is a free pattern and I think that this is just beautiful. I love little acorns. I love how cute they are. We have acorns everywhere in my yard during the fall and I love that they look like they're just wearing a little hat. It's so adorable. And so I think this could be so cute. You could string it up anywhere in your house. I also love that it came with the pattern for the little pumpkins as well. This is something that I would do over my mantle because I love to put a little fall display, pumpkins and little garlands and things like that at my mantle during the fall. The next pattern is the Autumn Rhapsody Blanket Crochet Along by Nana's Crafty Home. This one is extraordinary. I cannot get over the level of detail with this blanket. The pattern calls for paint box cotton Aran, but I bet you could substitute with 100% acrylic yarn like paint box simply Aran, and I bet it would work out pretty similarly and they would have very similar colors, if not the exact colors. What I love about this blanket is that it looks like a sampler. You have all of these different stitches and techniques through each one of the different sections. It's really extraordinary. There are sunflower, chrysanthemum, and leaf motifs throughout the blanket. And you also have the option to make a pillow as well. And what's really crazy is that this pattern is completely free. I'm sure you've been to the Nana's Crafty Home website before, but if you haven't, make sure to check out all of her gorgeous designs. We're pivoting a little bit with this next pattern called the Soho Shawl by Dada's Place. This one is so beautiful. I love the texture, the softness, and the neutral color of this shawl. She's using Elise Lana Gold 800, which is a wool acrylic blend, and it's a lace weight yarn. And that lace weight yarn is going to give this shawl a beautiful drape, because a lot of people think that crochet doesn't have a beautiful drape like knitting does, but actually it just depends on what yarn you use. The berry motifs that decorate the entire shawl are extraordinary. I think this one is so beautiful. Beautiful. If you've never checked out the Dada's Place website, do yourself a favor and go check her out. There are paid patterns as well as free patterns on her website. The Soho Shawl is a paid pattern though. One of the patterns that I made from her design is the Primavera Flower Blanket and it's one of my favorites. From personal experience, I can say that her patterns are very well written. There are clear photos and all of the explanations make sense. The next pattern is the Hay Ride Shrug by Tales of Knots. This is gorgeous. I would wear this all throughout the fall and I love the colors that she chose. She's using Furl's Wander yarn for this project and I didn't even know that Furl's had a yarn collection. And she goes on to tell within the blog post for the pattern about the yarn that it's 100% acrylic and that it comes in some gorgeous, vibrant colors. I'm gonna have to check this out because I have several Furl's crochet hooks, but like I said, I didn't know that they had any yarn at all and 
I need to see it because looking at this shrug, I love that vibrant color, especially that green. It's just perfection and I need to see that for myself. This is the first time that I've been to Tales of Knot website and I am so impressed. She has so many beautiful patterns and this one, the Hayride Shrug, is completely free. This next pattern is so cute. It's the Acorn Crochet Basket by Mini Crochet Zoo, and you'll find the pattern on Etsy. What's really unique about this pattern is that she uses t-shirt yarn. I've used t-shirt yarn one time before for a basket that I made from a pattern from Tony from TL Yarn Crafts, and I need to find that basket. Where is it? <laughs> I can't find it. I couldn't find the basket, but I did find the yarn. This t-shirt yarn creates a very stable structure for things like baskets. And this little acorn basket is so adorable and I would want to keep this out all year long, not just during the fall. And wouldn't a cute little amigurumi squirrel be so cute to put in the basket and have his little head poke out every once in a while? I'm getting carried away with myself, but I thought this one was so cute and I wanted to share it with you. The next pattern is the Maple Leaves Crochet Afghan by Annie's. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I love all of the different color leaves and the green background for this blanket. It is so beautiful. The pattern calls for a worsted weight yarn and it's available for purchase on the Annie's catalog website. This is the kind of blanket that I would love to have laying over my couch all throughout the fall. It would just be so perfect as a decor and something to bring out during this special time of year. Well, not this special time of year because it's summertime right now, but but when it becomes fall, that's when I would wanna bring that blanket out. The next pattern is very unique. I've never seen anything like it. It's the crochet pumpkin in three sizes from the Remslow on Etsy. These look like realistic pumpkin and gourds. I think this looks so amazing. I would love to display these in my decor, in my kitchen, or even on my mantle when I make my little decorations for fall. What I really like about this is that these are made with very muted colors. They're not neutrals, but they're very, very muted. And I love that gorgeous, I keep looking at the photo. It's my computer's over right, is right over here. And I keep looking at this gorgeous photo of them. I love how realistic the stems look. And that is such a difficult thing to do with crochet. Normally when I've made little pumpkins, I've put a little stick in there and it makes it look really cute. But these are crocheted stems and they look extremely realistic. That's the thing I like about these. They look like ones that you might find at a farmer's market, but they're not gonna rot and get all kinds of fruit flies all over them. You're gonna be able to put them away and bring them back out every year. This next pattern is for you granny square lovers. I love granny squares and I love this one. It's the Crochet Cozy Granny Square Cardigan by Hey Hey Crochet. I love this beautiful cardigan made with granny squares and it looks so cute, it looks so cozy, and it looks pretty simple to whip up too. She has the free pattern as well as a video tutorial. I'm sorry. Pickle, my cat, is in the other room and he's making a lot of noise. I don't know exactly what he's doing in there. I probably should, I probably should check on him. Pickle, what are you doing? Back to the cardigan. This one is so cute. I love how modern this looks, even though you're using granny squares, but this is perfection and the colors that she chose really screams autumn to me. The next pattern is the Cozy Sunday Shawl by KW Knits W love. Let me make sure I got that right. KW Knits W Love. This is an extraordinary shawl. I love this ombre effect almost with these colors where you've got the white and then you have a cream color and then a little bit of a golden rod and then you've got that pumpkin color and then the navy blue. It is extraordinary. I love this one so much. There's a lot of texture and the tassels is just everything that I love. It's more, more, more. The pattern is available for purchase on Love crafts and it also recommends a light fingering weight yarn. I would wear this every single day in the fall. I just love those chilly evenings in the mornings when you just want to wrap a nice shawl, a nice handmade shawl around your shoulders to keep warm. This one is just so gorgeous. This one is a showstopper. That's what I would call this one. If you were out and about wearing this, I guarantee you people would come up to you and ask, where did you get that shawl? And you could say, oh, I made it. Don't you love when that happens? This next pattern has my heart. It's the Huga Burst Granny Square Blanket by Nada Crawl. Now, I don't know if I said that word right. Huga, Huga, Higu, Hig. <laughs> 
I can't say that word. Huga, Hugi, Hugi, Hug, Hug, Higu, Higi, Higi, I'm not sure how you say it, but this blanket is gorgeous. Now, it's not specific to the fall, but this screams fall to me. This is everything that fall is about. A cozy blanket, granny squares, all those gorgeous colors. You could make it specifically for fall. You could use very fall colors, yellows and browns and greens and oranges. Oh my gosh, that would be so beautiful. But I love these colors that she uses. And the thing that makes it feel like fall to me is that it's not a bright white background. It's a cream color. It's an off white. It's an antique white color. And it is so beautiful. This is kind of like my jam. I love blankets that look like this. I love the granny squares with the white background. But this one is really special and it's a free pattern on her website. I hope you enjoyed today's video about autumn inspired crochet projects. I hope you found something that made you want to grab your hook and get crocheting. Let me know in the comments section which one was your favorite. I don't think I can choose. They're all so gorgeous. I don't have a favorite, but I'd love to know which one was yours. Stay safe out there and happy stitching.